Hi, it's Malt, and welcome to another tutorial, this time for a jukebox combination lock, which is very easy to do, and pretty cool actually. So, if we get right onto it, if you just, oh, grab some records, just out for a night of putting, you have your music discs and there's nothing really apart from all the redstone to indicate that this is any sort of device you've just got some jukeboxes here but if you insert the correct disc into each one into this one blocks into this one another one far and into this one 13 you will see that this lamp will light up wow amazing and how does this work well you see a comparator output for a jukebox has a different reading for every single music disc available. So you can use this to um, make a combination lock. So I'll go on over to the tutorial and where I'll show you how to build this. Okay, so what you're going to want to start by doing is placing a jukebox there, there and there. Just uh, a block in between each one of them with a comparator running out of each one of course you will try not to see the comparators just have your jukeboxes in a wall so it doesn't look like anything special and what you're gonna wanna do is run redstone wire out of these comparators for the signal strength that your record is going to give and I'll provide a link to the Wikipedia article, the Minecraft Wikipedia article where that is shown. So right here I know that for the records I want it's 3, 5 and 1 which corresponds to these three music discs blocks far and 13 so I'm just gonna run it 3 then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then just 1. So now what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to place a repeater there, a repeater there, a redstone there, and two blocks this way. And this is infinitely expandable by the way, you just want to keep on going with this pattern, repeater there, repeater there, and actually no, what you want to do for this one, you just got to make sure that none of this is interfering with this. You're going to place it like that and two blocks of quartz right there. And for this one, since it's only one, you just want to get a repeater there and one there and redstone dust there. So what all this is going to do is if it outputs a one, this is going to turn on, but this isn't. If it outputs anything else, this is going to turn on and this is going to turn on or if it just outputs nothing at all, or something less, in the case of this one, none of them are going to turn on. And you'll see why that's important. So, for the correct one, what you want to do is put a redstone torch on top of it, like so. And now what you're going to do is just run redstone the whole way, making sure around making sure it doesn't interfere and it's really important that you place it on top of the block that the one extra redstone that you don't want powered for your combination lock it's on top of that so just like this and just run it around a bit cumbersome but hey and like so, and now if any of them are powered, then this is not going to be, and you have your output here, so I'll just put a lamp right here, and we can see for ourselves how it works, and you can connect that output to anything, a door, anything, it's just really cool. So if we get our music discs, and we put that in that one we see it lights up exactly turning this torch off but not this redstone line on and we put 
this one there or is it yes it is and this one there you'll see that this lights up so be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this and subscribe for more I'm Malt and I'm out